Before I do the test case, I want to do one more method very quickly. Just take me five seconds to do it. Let's now do some comparison. This method will return. Uh, this method represents the search criteria. Either it's a space gray finish or it's an iPad Pro. Can we say we want to say I want it to be both iPad Pro and it's a space gray. It's and logical conjunction. So for showing you uh, the com uh, showing you different logical operators. So what I would do is I'm going to simply copy that. OK, and then I'm going to paste it over here. Uh, over here. OK, and the only, uh, only two things I need to change. Number one, the method name. I'll just say get space gray pro. So this implicit end over there. OK, so let me simply copy the comments over here. OK, copy that and then I'm gonna say return the serial numbers of all the products that are e uh, that are both with space gray finish and it's a pro. All right. Now tell me something. I argue that there's only two character change you have to make to this method here. Only two character, nothing more, nothing less. Which two characters? Pause the video and think about it. All right. Assuming that you have thought about it. Hopefully you realize these two characters I gotta change, right? M percent, M percent. So that means in order for the indices to be collected, I want to make sure the products has both its model to be pro and also its finish should be space gray. That's why I'm putting conjunction together. All right, so now we got two methods. Let's now test it very quickly for completeness. Always remember to test your code before you can claim that it is correct. Let me uh, maximize it. Let me now go back to test refurbish store. Okay, and I would suggest we do some copy and pasting to save some time. For test refurbish store two, you can copy from the test tag over here, all the way to here. After we have added three entries. Okay, so let's now copy that, and then let me maximize it. And then let me now paste it over here. Okay. And then hit enter and put a closing curly brackets over there, right? Again, uh, we got to change the name of the method to be three. Okay. So now we got three methods. Let's see what kind of assertions we want to do, right? We, we already know that in the case of get space gray or pro, it should be these two. In the case of get space gray and pro. Which one or which ones should we collect a serial number? Well, it seems like only this first product will actually satisfy because only that got pro and also space gray. This one over here will only get you the pro but not the space gray. So that would not satisfy the conjunction criteria, right? So we can see that we can really compare the outputs, different outputs for the two methods, right? So what I want to do is I want to say, uh, let me look up my notes very here here very quickly to see what we should write. We should write uh, two sets of uh, assertions. The number one I want to do is by calling the guest space gray or pro. Okay, so I can say assert true over here. RS refurbished store dot get space gray or pro. Make sure you choose the right version. Okay, and now it's going to return an array. What should be the length? And based on our illustration, it should be just two, right? Should be two the length equals equals two. More specifically, what value should they actually record, right? They should record the uh, index zero of that array. It should record this serial number over here. Index one, it should record this serial number over here. The first and the third products, okay? So what I will do is I'm gonna say assert true. And then I can say rs.get space gray, uh, okay, get space gray or pro. And then at index zero, that's going to be a string dot equals over here. And it should be the serial number for the first products. Let me just copy and paste this one here. Copy and then paste. That's the first one. OK, let me show you another thing that you may want to do in test case, right? Because the entire expression I put as argument for assert true, as long as it's a Boolean expression, I'll be OK. So now I can say rather than putting two assert truths, I can do this, okay? I can say this and this. And then I will just say index one over here. And it should be 
the third, uh, the serial number for the third products over here, right? Let's now copy that and replace it over here. Paste. Right, you can see the new thing I'm trying to show you here, just a little bit uh, like uh, something if you uh, prefer, you can do that. As long as what's really being passed into assert true or assert false is actually a Boolean expression, you'll be okay. So this is a Boolean expression because this is a Boolean, this is a Boolean, and then we're combining two Boolean into a compound Boolean expression using conjunction. You can use other operator as well, like a disjunction. Okay, so this is the first one I would like to do. Okay, let's now try to run a JUnit test right away. We got a green bar, all right? And what's left is about testing the other method which will conjoin the uh, search criteria together. So I would say assert true over here, rs.get space gray pro, okay? And what should be its length? It should be equal to one because we know that only the first products over here is gonna satisfy the search criteria, right? It's both pro and also space gray. Let me go back here. Let's now do that. Assert true over here, and then rs.get space gray pro at index zero, because length is one, so that means the only valid index will be zero. Dot equals, and what should be? The serial number. Should be the first one, the first entry, which has the serial number here, right? Copy that and then paste it over here. All right, and let's now rerun the test cases. Did I copy the wrong serial number? Let's see. Let's see, it should be uh, the first one over here, F9. Okay, that's the, that's the one. Let's see what was wrong. Maybe there's something I did wrong, okay? Let me now relaunch the JUnit test, and then if I double click on that, I'm actually uh, failing this particular test over here. So the length is actually not one. RS.get space gray pro dot length equals equals one. So that one is actually not passing. But why is that? Let's now put a breakpoint over here and find out. Okay. So if I put a breakpoint, so uh, as I said before, that's how you debug, right? If I launch the debugger over here and switch to debug perspective, so now I'm stopping uh, here. So this is actually from the earlier breakpoint. So why don't I just cancel that? Okay, double click on that and say stop and try debug again. Okay, so now I'm here. So now this apparently somehow this will fail. Let's see exactly why it will fail. Let me remove all the earlier expressions over here. Just say yes, okay. And let me just try this. If I try to uh, copy this expression here, and add new expression, and you will say paste. So this is not going to give to me the, uh, let me, okay, this, somehow we run into null pointer exception. Okay, that might be useful. It is saying that when we try to run this method over here, we run into null pointer exception inside, okay? But we wanna see exactly why, okay? So why don't we step into it? So now we can say, you can see I try to use the expression view to predict what's gonna happen over here, right? And then even before I run it, and then uh, and then debugger tells me that if you try to evaluate this particular expression, you're gonna run into null pointer exception, okay? That's very useful information, right? I think it's a very good lesson for, uh, for us to learn, right? And then let me now step into, right? So I can step into get space gray pro. If I say step into, okay, and then let's see exactly why we are only returning null. Let's see why, okay? If I do step into, step into, right? And remember, you can only get null pointer exception when you got a method call, right? So now if I say step over, step over, okay, that's fine. So now for the very first iteration, this will be okay. Okay, so now uh, let me also remind you the value for i is now currently still zero. We are not at the end of the first iteration. If I say step over, so now i is one, right? So now we are in the second iteration. Let's see what's gonna happen. Second iteration, okay, that's fine. We didn't get into a uh, null pointer exception. That's good. And we're now in the third iteration. 
somehow in the third iteration we got into trouble okay let's see exactly what happened okay for the third iteration for the third let me just now go back to java um perspective but hopefully you're still following me so we now saw somehow we got into a null pointer exception for this method over here specifically over here when we are in the third iteration okay so let's see what's going on over here i see actually why i see okay i can tell you that i bet it is because p dot get finish is actually null so guys i'm not sure if you're following me i think uh, uh i didn't really plan this when i recorded this part of the video but i think i want to keep this actually there's a very good way to actually show that uh if you really run into trouble you really just need to uh go over the code and go over the debugger yourself okay i can tell you what the, what the issue is and let's verify that okay let me just do run the debugger once more and then i will sh show you how to fix it let's run the debugger once more and switch to debug perspective okay and now we are over here right so now let's step into step into and then we want to go over here so now you can see i value is actually zero okay i want to go step over step over until i becomes two okay you can see i is now become two right and now i want to see what's p dot get model right this may be a problem for let me paste it copy and paste it p dot get model is actually ipad pro 10.5 so that's okay what about p dot get finish over here p dot get finish over here is actually null okay so why is that null okay that's a question right so the reason is okay let me stop this so now at least we know what the cost of the uh, null pointer exception is if you try to step over again you're going to run into null pointer exception okay so now we are good okay let me stop this and then go back to java perspective i think in this case specifically i think it's because i did not set up the object structure properly right you can see according to the object structure we should have set up this to be silver we should have but i did not do that properly my bad but i think uh, it's uh, worth doing this lesson together okay it is because remember after adding entry three according to our earlier video we only got the default value right like what i showed you earlier the finish being null the storage being zero discount value being 0, 0.0 right so what that's why in the earlier test case i actually did something like this this fragment of code to actually set up the attribute values properly but i forgot to copy and paste them i forgot okay okay let's now copy this fragment of code from test refurbished store number two right let's copy that so if I copy that and then I'm just going to paste them immediately after add entry three, right? That's something I need to do. And paste. And if you want some notes over here, we say set up the attributes to appropriate values. Okay, that's what we should do. All right. And now let's see if that will work. If I click on JUnit test green bar all right so now we are fine phew okay so let's now let me recap very quickly so i think uh the ending about 10 minutes when i try to debug the session was not really originally intended but i think it turns out to be a very good chance for us to learn about how to debug i'm quite glad actually it can turn out to be this way even though it's a little bit longer okay so that's uh the reason we got a null pointer exception is because we didn't set the silver in that case right if we didn't have this line in that case we'll get into null pointer exception so that's one way to fix it is to make sure objects are set up that way i think that'll be enough for this particular uh, example but i want i do want to make a final remark so for your uh code over here so you may want to consider sometimes it might be good to say p dot get finish over here not equal to null and like that so before you actually check to see that p dot get finish dot equals before you call a, a method on this particular context objects you may want to make sure it is not equal to null right so this will be something i'll recommend you actually put into your code i'll leave it here all right and for the earlier one how can we do that but you gotta be careful right you don't want to confuse yourself so you may want to put some parentheses to remind yourself 
that for this right hand side over here i want to say p dot get finish not equal to now and like that however there's something i want to emphasize very quickly so now that we talk about logical operator you we spoke about precedence of the logical operator so conjunction is more like a multiplication disjunction is like an addition so in this case the parenthesis is really not that necessary because even if you didn't have the parenthesis this will bind tighter anyway right so it will still be interpreted by the compiler as this one go first before you go uh go for the uh, disjunction right but i put a parenthesis just to for visual clarity over here right and it will be an exercise for you to make sure p dot get model is also not equal to null i'll let you do the rest okay then finally and whenever whenever i make any changes i should also rerun the test once more okay green bar okay so that's about it i would like to cover in part two of the review tutorial series part two is actually longer than uh part one but i think i really try to explain almost every single detail i can think of as i go through the uh, materials i think uh, be patient and then hopefully if you really can get to this point congratulations you uh, you have really achieved a lot okay so that'll be about it for part two and in the future there might still be a part three for the tutorial series i'll try to add in more methods and more classes just to illustrate different concepts for the course all right stay tuned